It's, here's the latest on the lake effect snow. That lake effect snow band south of Buffalo. It's going to stay south of Buffalo. Today will continue to drift southward. We'll see a little burst of snow as the morning moves along, but that band will weaken later today and into tonight. Tonight, it is going to be very cold across the area. Looking at overnight lows tonight in the teens. As far as snow totals are concerned, along the, the uh, Chautauqua Ridge, we'll see another 8 to 14 inches of snowfall. About 5 to 9 inches of snow in northern parts of Cattaraugus County, 6 to 12 or toward Ellicottville, 4 to 8 as you make your way toward Jamestown. A dusting here in Buffalo, a couple of inches could come in off of Lake Ontario, especially this morning. And then as we head into later today, about 3 to 6 near Springville. So extreme southern Erie County, you'll see uh, a few inches of snowfall. But the South Towns, you're kind of missing this one as you just saw a little bit of snowfall overnight. Right now we have 23 degrees. Winds out of the west at 7 miles per hour, so it feels like 15 outside again. We throw that QR code up on the screen for you and uh, we'll be showing it throughout the show. If you uh, missed it right now, it'll be coming up later. You can scan that, take you right to our app. You get the latest on the weather and all the closings. We have winter weather advisory in effect for Southern Erie County. Lake effects no warning in effect for Chautauqua County and Cattaraugus County right now through 7 a.m. on Saturday. Looking at the radar, we have a frontal system right now uh, right near Lake Ontario that's dropping southward across the area, kicking off some snow in the North Towns. New Fane, Somerset over toward Medina, Shelby, Albion, seeing that snow. And then we have the snow across southern Erie County, Collins over toward Concord, East Otto, Cherry Creek, uh, picking up that snow. And that's where the bulk of the snow is going to be today. 23 in Buffalo, 24 in the Falls, 18 right now in Jamestown. You factor in those winds, it feels like four in Jamestown. It feels like 12 right now in Niagara Falls. Here's a look at your super seven day forecast. We have lake effects snow south of Buffalo today. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 20s. And as we look at the map here, you're going to find that snow band mostly uh, across extreme southern Erie County and Chautauqua and Cattaraugus counties. Getting a Lake Huron connection will help increase those snow totals along the Chautauqua Ridge. Tonight, dry air moves in. That band comes to an end. Saturday, abundant sunshine across the area. Sunday morning, we have rain, snow, and sleet across the southern tier to start your day. We'll have rain showers throughout the day. And then notice very late in the day on Sunday, that rain's going to mix with and change over to snow. It will be breezy on Sunday with temperatures near 40, and then they'll be dropping off later in the day. Like I mentioned, Saturday looks great, partly cloudy near 30 degrees. Of course, Sunday, you've got the uh, season finale and uh, the Jets coming to town as we take on the, the Bills. And you're looking at rain showers around noontime, so a lot of you are probably going to tailgate around lunchtime. Temps in the upper 30s. Breezy, wind southwesterly 10 to 20 miles per hour for kickoff with scattered showers mid-30s toward the end of the game. A scattered rain or snow shower with temperatures in the low 30s. Again, not the best weather in Orchard Park, but uh, you're going to find a bit of a breeze too, especially for the start of the game with wind southwesterly 10 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts. Cold front comes through and then our temperatures really drop off for Monday. We're in the low 20s with morning snow showers. 